Hey guys, Dirty Mike D here with Fat Guy Gaming, and I figured I'd do my little Napoli video. I've got a pretty good video here that I uh, I was able to capture, and um, just figured I'd show you my uh, commander build that I'm using. It's a little harder build just because not everyone has a 16-4 sound wave that they can throw on something, but um, I'm going to go into it, do a little voiceover of the video, and uh, just say that that I do recommend if you can pick this thing up, if you got the the spot in your bureau to, to run this and, and grind this out, um, it's going to be a really good cruiser for legendary tier. Um, it performs well. I like, I'm liking the rudder build. It gets, uh, right now I think it's a 2.8 rudder shift on this thing with Soundwave and Mimbelli uh, and uh, Baltimore. But uh, as you can see right here, I'm using Soundwave, I'm using Baltimore, and Mimbelli to get the most out of my uh, out of my rudder perks. I'm using Piercer um, to make that AP hit just just get a little bit better pen. Um, I'm using Full Out for rudder shift and speed. Speed. I'm using Valacious for more speed. I'm using Steer Clear, and I'm using Fully Packed. You can go with a secondary build and get the secondaries out to seven six or seven eight or something like that. Honestly, I did it, and I did pretty good. The only difference being that you might lose a, a little bit, especially like right here, you lose a little bit of AP pen, but um, it's not that big a deal. The thing's accurate enough and, and decent enough that if you do that, you can be a real cap contesting uh, um, monster. So I did run a few, was averaging in the 80 to 90K range whenever destroyers push, and I was able to get them you know, in range, but... Um, I personally are, am liking the evasiveness and the ability to stay around the outside skirts. Uh, shoot HE, she, she seems to have a pretty good chance of fire. We'll see that here in a, uh, whenever I go over just the stats for, for Napoli, whenever i am uh, got this all on here. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and move to stats. Before we talk about stats, I just want to point out that I think Napoli is a beautiful ship. Um... I like all the Italian cruisers for the most part. I love that little white and red bow that they always do. This is with the Italian uh, Regia Marine um, camo I put on there. Uh, I don't have it on there permanent because I don't know if I keep it uh, after I, uh, the ship's taken away from me after the trial period. So, that, but whatever. Um, you know, she's got uh, two triple turrets in the front, a triple turret in the back. She's got those kind of longer range torpedoes on e one on e launcher on each side. Works works out pretty well for it. Um, like I said, quick uh, rudder shift. So uh, let's go ahead and get this UI out. We'll look at some of the mods that are available for this ship. Uh, in the first section, you can get aiming systems, secondary, AA guns, battery mod. She's already a 65 rated AA machine. So if you want it to, you could throw AA on this thing, get another 20% out of it. Um, right now I'm not because there's not a ton of legendary tier um, carriers out in these games yet. That may be something you want to do. I'm okay with losing the turret traverse and the minus 7% dispersion. Like I said, she's pretty accurate already. I don't know that 7% is going to make that big a deal. Uh, so I went with the secondary battery mod. Get it out 20%, get it a little bit better, because she does have good secondaries. They're they're really good sap secondaries. Um, so that just gives me an extra 15% that I don't get from the aiming system mod. I know aiming system is really popular for the first one. I don't go with the traverse mod. That never really made a big difference for me in these Italian ships. Um, for the second mod, I chose steering gears because i wanted to maximize my evasiveness while i'm staying kind of at the at the 12 to 15k range and shooting um 20 percent my uh rudder shift just it, it's a big number um i don't usually choose propulsion mod on my cruisers if you want to go for it i mean whatever you want and i almost never pick damage control on a cruiser um that's just me i'm sorry i'm not gonna do it Here's another opportunity right here. You could change this. It's a big mod for steering gear and rudder shift. Um, I pick it. Like I said, I, I want that kind of agile build to go. Um, but if you decide it not to, even using that 40%, you're still going to have a, a pretty good rudder shift compared to most cruisers out there. Um, you could go with detectability. 
And if you need to go dark, you know, get that detectability down. 10% on what she's got. Let's go look real fast. Let's look at the, uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't go in a game. I get stuck in these fucking things. Upgrades. Loadout. Um, stats. Concealment. She's already 11k concealment base, so you take another 10% of that down, you know you're going to have... What is that? Uh, 10.1... A little less than that. Um... Because it's going to take 1.1 away. So you'll have 9.9, .9, I think, concealment. That's not horrible for a cruiser. You can get out there, shoot, and go dark as long as there's no uh, DD out there spotting you close. So uh, there is that. Um, like I said, it's up to you. I, I'll never really usually use uh, target acquisition anymore. Just just not going to happen. Plus, she has, uh, she has spotter planes that can kind of... You can get them out there if you want to try to... Uh, spot of torpedoes, you know, if your plane happens to go be out, going that way. You can switch out the smoke for an AA, defensive AA, but right now, like I said, with how many, how many, uh, legendary tier, uh, carriers you're actually seeing, probably not worth it yet. The rolling smoke can get you out of a lot of stuff and get you safe while you're doing that cruiser death turn, you know, to try to get out of, uh, some battleship that's trying to citadel you. Uh... Uh, let's go back up here to upgrade. So, so yeah, concealment mod, target acquisition. I like I like steering gears. Forty percent's a big number. It's not like one or two or three percent. It's a it's a big number. Uh, let's go here to uh, the the fourth one. You got your chances between trip double A. Like I said, right now probably not worth it to take. You're not going to see that many legendary tier carriers. Uh, fire control isn't horrible. But once again, 3% on a cruiser, not going to make that big deal. Now, the 5% range may make a big deal for you, especially if you're staying out there in that uh, kiting range. Torpedo stuff, let's be honest. You're only throwing... These torpedoes are, are just nuisance torpedoes. Very, And if you're needing them for a YOLO run, you're already kind of in trouble, and you're only going to get one thing out of them. Reload, 15%. Yeah, it's kind of a large number, but I'm not choosing that, uh, especially with... They're just going to be knocked out 50% more. Not on a not on a cruiser. Uh, main battery mod 3, though, I will use this. Once I said, once again, I said, with the distance you're at, traverse time isn't going to be that big a deal. So losing 15%, whatever, whatever. But the reload time of 10%, definitely worth picking. I can I say you should pick main battery load mod main battery mod 3 every every time in this slot. Um, maybe when more legendary tier carriers get out, you you grab this AA. Uh, on this and the uh, the other slot before that, and you just uh, become an AA screen. So that's up to you. Uh, pick what you want. Right now, stat wise, this thing does not have sap um, for main guns, but honestly, it, it's got it for its secondaries. It's fine. Like I said, you can switch the exhaust generator out for a uh, for a uh, AA mod. Won't wouldn't do it. I'm gonna use these catapult fires, the fighters, to see over mountains. Uh, see possible torpedoes on their way in and shoot down. Well, there's not that many carriers yet in Legendary Tier, so if I do see one, that's what it's for. Or uh, just to put up as a spite plane whenever I get dev struck. Uh, stats, survivability, 59k hit points with the way I'm running it. 21% torpedo reduction, armor 16 to 30, uh, 330 millimeters. It has, I believe, a 25 millimeter bow. We'll go confirm that here in the in the in the armor looker armor viewer wow i can't talk today uh artillery wise there are 254s which is a weird number that you don't see a lot normally you see 203s you know um this thing's got 254s they've got a little bit more punch than uh than the other italian italian ships 15 5 range right there you can get it out a little farther like i said if you choose a uh, different mods or a different commander and you and you're looking for that um, reload 14.5 is respectable. I mean, it's not a machine gun like a Minotaur, but but it, it hits pretty good. 16% chance of fire is pretty high, and I don't even have it buffed. Um, I like it. AP 6150, and it hits. You start. You can you can Citadel a, a a Yamato if it's if it's broadside possibly with this thing. It's it's pretty it's pretty good. Uh, secondary, like I said, they're they're sap. But they're only 90 millimeter. But with them being sap, it's going to do some damage to superstructure and stuff because most of that stuff is 
13 to 16 millimeter plating um and sap don't care uh 32 millimeter plating on like a rich uh french ship that's plated at 32 millimeter all around up there you're gonna pen the crap out of it uh 152s it's got uh 12 of those pretty good uh 3.2 second reload on the one on the 90s 7.2 on the on the 152s and they they eat up destroyers man you see a destroyer you and that thing starts eating them up pretty nice torpedoes kind of your typical italian torpedoes that are going 13.5 clicks at a uh, walking speed of 56 knots you're just throwing these pain passes out there and hoping they hit stuff sometimes uh or if you get pushed at an island you're you're that's the only thing holding them back so they're useful they're just not uh not your main thing aa 65 you're not going to see a lot of cvs at legendary maybe one or two um this will do you just fine maneuverability is where it's at 39.1 is not the fastest cruiser out there it's respectable but 2.8 rudder rudder shift you're maneuverable you can get back and forth you can wiggle especially if you stay on that you know 12 to 15k range as soon as you see them fire you start moving you're probably gonna make a lot of shells miss and she's tanky she is tanky i watched her uh, bounce shells that I just did not expect. You'll probably see that in the video, and I'll point it out when it comes through. Concealment, 11K. It's good. You can get it down a little bit if you really want to work at concealment. Makawa could could help if you want to put it on as an inspiration, Swirsky. Um, use a different commander that has a main commander that has a concealment build. That's not for me. Um, one of the things I do want to point out, though, is this detectability and fire of 7.6. That's higher than a lot of cruisers. Uh, usually you get six, six and a half. So just be aware when you're in your uh, exhaust smoke shooting that if a DD's within seven, six, you're still going to be, you're not going to be uh, uh, hiding like you expect. So uh, there we go. We're going to pop over to this armor ver viewer real fast and just confirm the uh, the front of this, the, uh, the front of this thing. Um, where we go um aft end plating aft end deck four end plating four end deck all 25 millimeter bows so um it's good i mean it like i said this thing bounces look at look at the uh anything that doesn't hit the bow and starts to hit the uh the skirting there is going to hit 34 to 75 millimeter plating sometimes 76 and she is really tanky you're going to see these incoming shots just bouncing off your deck and shedding a lot of these shots. So um, don't don't even don't think she's not tough. She is a tough ship. Um, you, and you'll see in my game the survivability of this thing's really high. So um, that's uh, that's a quick look. Well, not really quick. We're already 10 minutes in, but that's a little look at Napoli. All right. So we got a two brothers map here. I always check who we're up against first. Uh, Hayate, Summers, Des Moines. Do, 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 do. Just Palmer. every time. Palmer. Mm. Uh, new. I love it when people buy out day one campaign. New German battle cruiser with secondaries. So da, da, da. almost guaranteed he's going up the middle. Right, we got a Sommer CE. Probably a decent player. I've I always look for this out there people before. I know. A Hayate and a clever home. So... What, I kind of going to head out west a little bit and then turn back in is my plan. Uh, we don't really, really need me to do too, too much spotting, dun, 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 dun. But, but it's fine. Uh, you're going to see me use my smokes a lot in this game to cover turns. And um, any place I think I might be going broadside to kind of just get that cruiser death turn that you do, you know safely and you're also going to see me constantly watching the reload on my torpedoes and keeping them out for area denial and just to be annoying those torpedoes that i sent out right there i think we see i'm going to end up catching this des moines that we pop Hopefully up the des moines on the other side. i hope the des moines on the other side but he ends up being on this side spoiler alert Palmer's gonna go right up the middle Palmer goes right up the middle kind like expect it really like i was expecting to i mean people almost can't stop themselves from from doing a mid push anymore. So, throw the smoke up, throw my plane up so we can still kind of see stuff as we do this turn. Like I said, you don't want to 
Especially right off the bat, everyone's looking for a cruiser to dev strike, so. Just kind of getting turned here so I can do a kiting. I got a 2.8 rudder, so I'm going to use that to the best of my ability and try to stay in the uh, 15 to 11k sweet spot. This thing is relatively accurate without doing anything. Um, the only big problem with it when you're kiting is you only have the rear turret. And so that's only three barrels you're shooting. That's fine. I do I do my best here. Do my best uh, agile hipper impression. Uh, eleven about eleven is my is my concealment, so always kind of want to know that, know where you're at. That way if you're still spotted and everything you see is is out past eleven, you know there's a destroyer close but as you can see i go unspotted here take one one shell there doesn't really do much you know what is it seven eight eight hundred one of those torpedoes is gonna and here i don't expect a torpedo to hit but look at this you know what Every, sometimes a squirrel gets a nut baby sometimes a blind squirrel gets a nut this hayate i don't know what he was thinking going guns hilarious. up on me because a this thing's accurate Get a fire, in cap his uh, engine, and B, up in ledge tier, people are pretty good about when they see a when they see a destroyer. Look at this, two out of three, only one of these hits. Uh, when people see a destroyer, they do a pretty good job of everyone shooting at it. So I'm not really sure what his play was here, but it, it's not real, well, real great of him. So. Once again, here we go. Turn in. I'm not AP. not really fond of being this close to this uh, this Des Moines and this uh, Marlboro, but I don't know where this other DD is. That's a real problem for me. Oh, he's back there. Look at this. Look at this. Just keep throwing these pain passes out, checking the reload on them. This Des Moines is uh, really what I'm wanting to focus on because. A, he's got sonar. Or, I'm sorry, radar. Misspoke there. There we go. There he is. Let's uh, send some shots off at him here. Incapped a gun. Got some good pens and some over pens. He hits me, but honestly, there I bounce one. Just 25 millimeter bow showing you what it can do. Once again, use that smoke to break contact, get myself where I want, throw these pain pastas out to be annoying. Sorry, I said Marlboro. I meant Marco Polo. Apologize for that again. Misspoke. There's the Des Moines. We're just going to keep focusing on her. Right now, I, I get a little, little help from this uh, destroyer here, which is great. I switched to HE because uh, Des Moines has a really good bow and I'm probably not going to pen it. So just HE spam it. These 254s are pretty pretty good, man. I really I really like them more than, you know, the 203s. Which you see in a lot of these ships. There we go. Got him got him taken care of. Now, this uh, Marco Polo's gotten pretty close and I Doing things over here, just doing things. I've got torps on my right side ready, so why not? Here we go. He uh, he gets a good hit on me though. Here in a second. There I go, bouncing and I'm gonna do the uh, do the thing. Cross the. I'm hoping to cross the uh, across his bow and overturn his uh, his turret traverse, but. There we go, because he's going to turn in. He, they always turn in. Torpedoes. One, two, three. Missed the one, or it would have been pretty much over. HE sucks. It was HE. If it was AP, I would have absolutely torn him up at that range. But we end up doing good. Look at these secondaries, though. This whole time, my secondaries have just been popping off. Do not sleep on the Napoli Sap secondaries, because they are chewing them up.
like I said, if you decide to not go as high a rudder shift and take your sac secondary uh, mods, I mean, you can do it with this My ship. secondaries are eating them up. Come on, baby. Uh, especially, like, if you get a cruiser on a DD with a DD pushing, you can actually really contest caps well with that. Now, this Alice ends up playing there. this really well for, for the most part. I mean, he ends up being just him and a DD, and he, he does the best he can. He almost he almost clutches it for him. Luckily, the ship's two. tough. So, 16% fire chance. This thing just keeps setting fires. Every time I pull the trigger, it feels like I get a fire. Almost beach it here, which would have been really bad for me. Beaching. But we don't. I switch to AP, try to aim a little high. Get a couple hits, but nothing nothing really to write home about. We're gonna get fire on this guy. Just keep shooting this Might HE and being annoying. Over here spotting. Uh, this DD does a pretty good job of not getting spotted here and there. So I use my smoke again so I can get a turn. I actually like, pop out of it for a second towards the end on accident. Because I'm trying to milk it a little bit and get the most out of it, but I don't get punished too bad for it. Keep trying to set fires on this thing. There, there's another one. Look, this thing just definitely gets those fires, man. See there, I popped out for just a second here. And get spotted. I'm hitting the reverse, trying to, trying to get back in. Try to get back in. There we go. We're we're dark again, which only really gets me one or two salvos off. But it allows me to turn hard left here. I think I turn hard left. No, I just uh, I just uh, sail broadside. Just not giving a shit. We're up to 131,000 with fires going. You know, just can't really say enough about the ship plus watch i take these uh i take these shots and i bounce a lot of shots she's just tough man this destroyer i don't know why this summers sumner pushed in like this i'm sorry it's a sumner um he could have stayed back i know he thinks he's he's helping here but honestly he should have stayed back and gotten it to a place where he could just because he's got really good guns instead he pushes forward um i mean he stops them from getting a few points for a few seconds but i'd much rather have his guns shooting here in a second especially since i don't know where this dd is it happens and uh it ends up not being too big of a thing i even try to tell him but it's a little too late he's already got himself stuck in there come on give me a fire Uh, my idea here is to use these islands, this island here that's just off my port, to uh, stop from this Al Alsace. How do you say that ship's name? I can't say the ship's name right. Uh, stop it from being only get a good shot at me. I know that destroyer somewhere near him because he keeps sure using Wildery build. DD isn't full life. Trying to take some pressure off this DD, but he just was just insisting on trying to get, I guess, torps off on this guy. Made him miss all of it. Luckily, that destroyer wasn't full life. I tag him once, I think, here, maybe. Yeah, get a little in cap. No idea what it was, but now it's time to use this island to get a turn out. And try to open up the distance so I can keep using my rudder. Yeah, that's a little close. A little close for what I want. And so I can keep trying to get these see, these torps off for a lucky hit here and there. That was a hit. Made him burn his damage con real quick for a flood. 
So, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I can get a permafire. Nope, fuck that island. Pardon my French. But, I know he's gonna come through this hole here. He's not gonna go all, all the way around the island. He's coming through the hole. You can see because because of the way the things kind of fade. So, I'm just gonna keep doing my little Italian cruiser wiggle. Throwing the pain pastas through the gap, hoping something hits. Um, this the one that might have hit ends up hitting this island. Now I was about to start talking crap on the other battleship that's in the game of ours because I didn't really know what he was doing, but he ends up making a smart play here in a second. You'll see. Um, he starts capping that far eastern f uh, flank, and it, it it holds it to six fifty five to six fifty five and gives us a chance at it. Because this DD ends up pushing pushing the western cap and causing us to start dropping. If they would have played a little less aggressive and maybe well, that maybe hit a little bit saves this game for us. Yeah, see, there it is. He saved the game. I was like I said I was I was getting angry and about to talk crap cuz he couldn't help me at all. And then I see that he he made a semi-smart play, you know? I know which way he has to go because he's avoiding torpedoes there. Like I said, the one hit the island. All right, what a hit. There's a fire. And the only thing these guys make a mistake is that DD gets a little far away from that battleship where he's not getting willed to rebuild any war more. And I'm able to finally start whittling him down. Here's a mistake. I could have easily been dev struck right here. I stay sideways way too long right here. I get really lucky in the wargaming over pen gods. Give it to me. But, once again, if his destroyer would have been helping him as far as, like, actually shooting his guns, um, here in a second you're going to see how low on life I end up being. And I think they, uh, think they win. There's a little punishment, I think. Look at this. Look at this. I'm down to 2,000 life. Still shooting at his battleship, and he still hasn't gone guns up with me. And I'm spotted still. Now that... That, uh... If he doesn't shoot at me, that, uh... That seals it for us. All I have to do is survive. But this guy finally... Finally starts to shoot. And if he would have shot... Look at how low on life I am. They probably would have got me. Wow. Tough 25 millimeter bow shatters a few of those. And um, thank God for that. And there we go for the win. Got him! Woo! Good chip. What a fucking definitely game, put it baby! In your definitely put it in your bureau oh. and unlock it. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, uh, Share, appreciate it, have a great one, and keep on sinking those ships. Sorry I was quiet because I was hardcore uh, focusing.